on this computer. <clears throat> Welcome to Inside ProSense. We are in 2023, and this is a new year and a new Inside ProSense. Today, we want to showcase our one of our newest members, Molly Thompson with Perrysburg Energy Solutions based out of Perrysburg, Ohio. Um, we had a brief conversation yesterday and she let me know a little bit. Uh, so I'm hoping that she will express some of those upcoming exciting news and her journey into the lighting industry. But as always with Inside ProSense, we are looking to spotlight our members. My name is Matt Russell and I'm the CEO here at ProSense. And I'm joined by J.R. Edens, who is a partner of ProSense. So, as we always do, we want to give Hi, Molly. Hi, Matt. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. As we always do, we want to give Molly an opportunity to share a little bit about her journey into the lighting and energy world industry, and also about why she joined ProSense. So, Molly, uh, welcome to Inside ProSense, and you'll just let us know about your journey into it, a little bit about Perrysburg, and then also why you picked ProSense as a partner. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, that's a lot of questions in one. So let me yeah. give it a take a stab at it and uh, you take your see time. I, how far I get before you <laughs> need to jump in and uh, throw me a little lifeline there. Um, so my journey to the lighting world um, is fairly recent. I'm an entrepreneur by background. Uh, um, and I am a like a, a I love to build things. So I'm a builder, a creator a great big picture thinker, um, and that's my background. But it was my business partner who has been in the lighting world and um, related industries for decades. So um, he has he happens to be my husband, which is very convenient, but he was in home building. He's a civil engineer by background, so he's got that skill set of engineering, which is great for the lighting world. Mm -hmm. But he was in home building for a few decades, and then he's been in alternative energy um, for the last 12 to 15 years. So it was actually um, a customer's request. He was selling lighting um, for a couple different companies, and um, several customers said, we want to buy lights, but we want you to do the installation as well. And so... And that was in uh, the beginning of 2016. And after that, he was off and running. So he's been in the LED world since like 2009 or 10, which, as you know, is a really long time for that world. Yep. Um, but we started growing quite a bit. And it was at that time when he wanted some additional experience in the like the marketing, the strategy side of things. So I was just leaving um, my position running a business incubation program at a local university. And so it was a great opportunity for me to step in and start working with him. So it's not my background, but building companies and the startup world, that is my world. So it's been, it's been very fun for me to learn a totally new industry. And I definitely defer to him on some of the more technical aspects of the business. Um, but from, you know, the business building side, the marketing side, the strategy side, I'm very much at home here. Um, so that's a little bit about my, my journey. Um, I think I mentioned I've been a, an entrepreneur since Super Bowl Sunday of 2000. So it was a, I don't know, it was a very particular, um, event and it was with, um, a whole bunch of people were, three other women that we sat down and said that we wanted to collaborate on something. And so after that, I just, I got totally hooked on the whole entrepreneurial experience mm -hmm. and I've taught about it. I have worked with startups. I've invested, I've mentored hundreds of entrepreneurs and it's just some place where I'm very much at home. So I am very excited to be now um, partnering with my favorite collaborator, uh, my business partner and my husband to grow something that we think is pretty interesting and it's a very exciting time to be in not only lighting, but alternative energy. Um, I think that was your first question. Yeah. Well, that, well, that, that answers a, a, a great deal of the first two. Um, I think, um, so we'll pause on the next one and we'll, um, cause there's a lot to unpack there, but JR, <laughs> any thoughts? Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> the, the entrepreneurial spirit's gotten me by the, 
But I thought it as well. I love, I love the entrepreneurial spirit, and that's what me and Matt are all about as well. <clears throat> you know, looking through your services, you got a bunch of great services, obviously, LED being a big part of it. Mm -hmm. um, give us an idea of what your number one service would be, but also what is the one thing you think ProSense provides as a service that makes you better in, in, in the business as well? Um, okay, so what we do really well is creative problem solving. Um, so I tell people all the time, we are a customer service company and we happen to be in the business of LED lighting, um, energy procurement and solar. So we are here to create very specific solutions for every single customer that we work with. Every project is custom tailored to um, address the, to solve a problem or address a need that any one of our customers is facing and calls us in for. Um, so that's kind of that part of it. But what attracted me about ProSense is that I came in through one of your partner companies, Retrolex, mm -hmm. and we started using their software, which um, my business partner, Scott, created his own kind of um, elaborate, I guess, spreadsheet, if you will, to create a whole comprehensive audit um, and financial analysis and like a whole um, like a package that we could send out to our customers. So after doing that for a few years, once we stumbled onto Retrolux, that was like a massive time saver, um, which is another reason I love the startup world because technology makes our lives a lot easier. Yeah. So when um, the head of Retrolux shared about the ProSense partnership and that we had an opportunity to jump in on that. What intrigued me about it was a couple of things. Um, first of all, the opportunity, the opportunity to, to uh, really increase my own network and to share my network with other like-minded people, um, the impact. So it, that's kind of hand in hand with opportunity is to be able to connect with others in the industry to look at like collectively, how do we work better together? How do we address maybe some needs um, or some aspects of the industry that either are working that we could make better or that aren't working so great that we could improve? Um, and on that, on that note, it's really the community, like anything where I have a chance to be part of a really cool, like-minded community, that's always pretty intriguing to me. And then the fourth, I think, is um, perspective. So because I'm fairly new to this industry, I really lean on people who have, you know, years, if not decades of experience. They have a perspective that I just don't have, but I also can probably provide some perspective from, um, from my seat. So I think being able to share that um, in this community is what really had me, um, I've reached out to Matt a few times um, and that really helped sell me on being part of this community because Matt was super receptive and really went out of his way to make sure I had all my questions answered and I probably asked a lot of questions. Um, yeah. So thank you. Cause I just, I didn't know that much about it. And so I had to look at this from like, I want to make sure that not only is this worth my time, but I want to be able to create value for the people that I'm connecting with as well. So mm -hmm. um, I think those are really the the four things. Yeah. Well, I'm, I appreciate you saying that. And I'm glad I was able to answer your calls. Um, one of the things that I enjoyed when we first talked <clears throat> was you're wanting to get involved in the community and finding other like-minded people. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, I connected you with Monica from Ray Lighting, who has been on Inside Pro Sense, mm -hmm. um, Alyssa from FSG, and then also Patty Cagle. Uh, we haven't had uh, Alyssa or Patty, but we have had FSG on. But if you'll give a little bit of perspective, you know, obviously it, so we brought you into a community that you were already in. We just made it a little bit more intimate. And now even in that, because you're meeting three other women that have industry knowledge of, you know, some of them have decades and some of them may have less time, but what was that like for you? And what were some of the takeaways from just that brief conversation you had with those uh, amazing people? Um, yeah, that's a great question. So um, 
what my my top takeaway is that they're really excited to help me succeed and to pick my brain and see if there's a way that I can provide value or to find out what I bring to the table where we can help each other. Mm. And that was why I had said, you know, what who are the women in this community who are really um, doing well, asking the right questions, like doing things right that I can learn from. And then when the four of us connected, we had a great conversation. And one of my biggest takeaways from them was get involved. That's mm. music to my ears because I, that's important to me. I want to know if I'm going to, if I'm going to make an effort and devote some time, um, as I said to JR before, I want to make sure not only that I'm being, that I'm getting some value out of it, but it's equally as important to me to be able to provide value as well. Yeah. Um, just in terms of, you know, decades being an entrepreneur and maybe a slightly different take on things. And then to find women who are in this industry is, you know, it's, it's primarily a male dominated industry. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's great for me to learn from their perspectives. What are the things that they've done that really work well? And are there things that maybe have been challenging or things where it's kind of like note to self, don't do that again. Mm -hmm. And just really um, see how we can support each other to make the industry more inclusive and better. Absolutely. Well, the one thing that you've, you've brought up a couple of times, um, and it's one of the things that I, I've been talking about over the last probably six months. And I look at our language with inside process and we say we're bringing buyers and sellers together, which is fine. It's, it, it's connections. It's a, it's a brokership, it's relationship building through vetted partnerships. But I really think what the goal is and what each and every one of us went inside the process community and even those that haven't found the process community yet, they're looking for a solution to their problem. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned it, I think yesterday when we spoke, I said, there's never been an opportunity that I've walked in to a customer and they said, oh, yep, you get all of our business. I had to solve a problem first and I had to earn their yep. trust. And that's the one thing mm -hmm. about ProSense is with the partnerships that we have between our buyers and sellers. And even with you, you're working with four or three other people that do very, very similar business to what you do, mm -hmm. but you're not, you're not feeling, um, anxiety competitive. or competitive. You have, what can we do to help each other? Cause the industry is large enough. And I think if we all think that way, we have a, an abundance mindset as opposed to a scarcity, because there's enough business out there and there are a lot of small businesses that are thriving even underneath with all these large businesses. And we're just doing our part to solve that problem. And I love how you brought that to, uh, to life for us. Well, we, um, I, I like to think of myself as being fairly direct, which is awesome in this industry because I'm working with kind of contractors and that kind of mentality where that is, you know, usually very appropriate. But that's a question that I asked that we had a great conversation about with Alyssa and Monica and Patty is like, okay, so you could say that some, if not all of us are competitive and I'd love to know your take because I want to like have that conversation head on because I'm not interested in the competitive side of it. I'm interested in the collab collaborative side of it, yeah. which was right there. And that's where the conversation got really kind of fun and juicy and there was like an instant camaraderie that yeah. was created out of that. And that was kind of the purpose is, you know, let's get past the competition because to your point, there is, there, there is plenty of opportunity for all the companies. So if you are looking at it as a competitive stance, to me, you're either not asking the right questions or you could be looking at it from a different way. So I'm not here to take other people's business. I'm here to help us help each other mm -hmm. to grow it because there's a lot out there. And if you, and I think I shared this on the phone yesterday, I mean, really from the saturation of LED lights in the industry, there is still a lot of business out there yeah. to be had. That's going to be over the next like five or 10 years before mm -hmm. it gets to that saturation level. So Absolutely. there's no reason not to work with others. Absolutely. JR, did, um, anything else that you wanted to ask or 
as we roll up on the end of this awesome conversation i think that you know you you hit something very very uh nail on the head about the fact that we can all work together that's what the pro sense environment is built on or built on making connections and 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 growing a community and and whenever we're like-minded individuals but also like-minded individuals that are geared towards helping everybody succeed then we're not only we're like-minded individuals we're also leaders in the community as well so I love what you're doing there. I think it's it's a it's a it's a great business that you that you're running. I love the fact you're doing it with your husband, and, and it's just it, I'm just honored to have you in the, in the environment. Thank you. Thanks. Well, I'm thrilled to be here, and I love having this conversation with you, and look forward to many more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, real quick before we sign off, um, I want to give people an opportunity. We'll, we'll try to put it in the chat, but what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? um at perrysburg um is it phone email what is that information that you'd like to share sure um so my email is m thompson at perrysburg energy.com okay um and i can i think you have the spelling of it but i'm happy to spell it out yeah well well, i've got the spelling but you know so people can hear it Um, yeah Um, Otherwise, my phone, I'm always available on my cell phone. It's area code 310-866-9789. All right. Awesome. Well, hopefully you'll get an email or a phone call where someone said, hey, we saw you on uh, some type of streaming service and we loved what you had to say and we want to partner with you. I'll Um, let you know. I will definitely let you know how it goes. (laughs) And I will say I've gotten a couple of calls from people in the community so far. Mm -hmm. And they've been great about reaching out and saying, hey, I noticed you're new around here. Let's connect and see how we can support each other. Absolutely. Um, Well, also, I want to break some news for the community for as we start 2023. Molly and I spoke yesterday and she has agreed to be one of our board members for the upcoming year of 2023. So we are excited to have her on the board and the perspective that she brings to help bring a collaborative effort for all people so we can thrive. Great. I'm excited about it. Thank you. Absolutely. So as we end this, we're going to, this is where Devin would come in and I I hate that he's not here today. I love him to death, but Devin, we love you, buddy. Um, But hopefully I'll do it as good as you do. Um, (laughs) As a bit of our pro sense culture, we want to close it out right to all of our first Future members, remember success always begins with consistency. Get yourself and your organization fully connected. Be active. Be responsive. Always do what you say you're going to do. And always remember to support the environment by always turning inwards for your organizational needs. At ProSense, we make connections that are sticky and that last, and then we get out of the way. ProSense, we open doors, and our partners always choose their own path but we do it together. Thank you again for watching Inside ProSense and thank you, Molly, for starting the year off right. And hopefully we can live up to the legacy that you set, the benchmark. (laughs) Well, thank you. This has been fun. I've loved it. And I'm looking forward to connecting with both of you and with the larger community again uh, soon and more often. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks.